Every so often you'll run across a polynomial and you can try to factor it, but it just won't factor. And I want to talk about those types of polynomials in this video. So some types of polynomials can be factored. For example, if you had x squared minus 6x plus 8, no problem. You could factor this with, let's say, trial and error uh, using that method. And you get x minus 2 times x minus 4. And I skipped some of the details there. But the point is simply that this polynomial was able to be factored. But then you have other polynomials like, let's say, x squared plus 5x plus 1. Well, that, there's no way to factor this. Because when you think about it, if, let's say you just tried to do trial and error, the last two numbers would have to multiply to 1. But the only way to multiply it to 1 would be 1 times 1, and that can't add to 5. And so what, what do we call this if you, you have a polynomial here that can't be factored in a, into a product of two linear polynomials here? Well, we call this a prime polynomial. It's similar to a prime number. You know, 8 is not a prime number because you could write it as a product of 2 times 4, but 11 is a prime number because the only way you can factor it is uh, 1 in itself, 1 times 11. So uh, it kind of has that, that same connotation even when you're talking about polynomials. Uh, now, it's a little more complex than that, and some of this is going to go way beyond the scope of, of a basic algebra class, but we have to be kind of careful with the technical definition of prime, so I'm going to try to keep it as basic as we can, but also not tell you anything incorrect. Basically, we say a polynomial is prime if it cannot be factored, but then you have to talk specifically about what type of coefficients you're allowed to have you might consider it prime if you can't factor it with integer coefficients or you might mean prime if you can't factor it with rational coefficients or with real coefficients and so sometimes something will be factorable if you're allowed rational coefficients but not factorable if you're allowed only integer coefficients and so you need to talk with your instructor about what he or she means when when they're talking about prime in a particular chapter and I'll, I'll give you an example I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here uh, let's say we had for example x squared minus 2 well w without going into a lot of the details this guy will factor as x plus the square root of 2 times x minus the square root of 2 Okay, so that factored, but that's not what, you know, normally when we factor, we like to have integers here and here. So it's just a matter of are we okay with having these guys or not? So if you're talking about being able to be factored over the integers, then this guy here would be considered as prime because he's not able to be factored with an integer here or here. Uh, think about it. You would want uh, two numbers that multiply to 2, but that add up to 0 because there's no x term. The x coefficient is 0. Well, the only integers that multiply to 2 are 1 times 2, and that doesn't add to, to 0. Um, now, square root of 2 times the square root of 2 multiplies to 2, and you could make these add to 0 with a plus and a minus, but they're not integers, and so we, we have to be a little careful. So even when you're talking about the rational coefficients, this guy would be considered prime. But if, you're, if you open it up a little bit and, and are a little bit more uh, loose with your interpretation of prime or factorable, and we allow ourselves real coefficients, which, are, which is like what the square root of 2 is, then this guy would be what we call reducible because we were able to factor it if you allow me to have real numbers here uh, in my factored form. So anyways, basically the, the easy definition of prime means not able to be factored, but you just have to be a little bit clear with your instructions of what, what, do, you, what do you mean by factored form? Are we allowed just integers or rational numbers or just real numbers?